Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about a couple of plugins that I suggest if you're going to do any animation in Daz Studio. And those two plugins are GraphMate and KeyMate. And I'll show you the web pages. Here's GraphMate at uh, Daz 3D. So it's uh, about $20. GraphMate and then KeyMate. Now these uh, two programs perform uh, some pretty key functions uh, when you're doing any kind of animation work. So here inside Daz Studio, here is GraphMate on the left uh, sidebar here. And I'm on his shoulder and if I hover over each axis, you can see the curve that it makes. So, yeah, basically the GraphMate shows how that part curves. And you can use these um, symbols in the corner, the magnifying glass and the plus sign kind of thing here, to move it around, okay, in, inside your window so you can see the curve. So maybe I might only want to look at a small section of that curve so then I would have to move it out like this and then I can ad adjust things inside the curve here so let's say I don't like how this line is moving but remember it's just on this one axis if I move over to this other axis it's you know different so that's kind of the part um, that I don't like about it um, I wish that if I clicked on an axis or on an arm or a part that it just showed me all three and then I could go over here to you know just look at one axis because if I had all three then I could just deal with you know the movement using all three axis which is how I like to edit but you can't uh, you can do this the only way to do this is to look at keymate so then I would, let's say I wanted to um, look at all the axis on his uh, left thigh. So then I would go to the left thigh inside Keymate, and then I would select all three of the axis. And then, then I could see it in the graph with all three so I think in in some ways it's this is uh, a little bit convoluted in how you get there but the important thing is that you have a graph editor because graph editors are probably one of the best ways to clean up motion capture to uh, create really smooth uh, animations and you can look at the graph and the graph will basically tell you where you're where all your jerkiness is in your animation. Now, if we look at the top of the graph editor, you'll see uh, there's a play button. So you can just uh, hit play there. Um, you can go to the beginning, you can go to the end, and then it tells you what frame you're on. And then you have a basic copy this key and paste this key and then delete keys. So if I wanted to take a whole section um, that I thought was a little shaky on all three axes, because I have them selected in my keymate here, then I could hit X after I highlight them, and it'll take away all those keyframes, which can be handy, uh, especially if you're cleaning up uh, motion capture. And then we have uh, create key and then you have um, different your diff your three different types of curvatures between uh, between two uh, keyframes. And if you look at this window, the setup I'm using uh, just one screen here, and everything uh, inside Daz Studio is you know on my sidebars and my bottom bar, and it's a bit crowded when you're using GraphMate or KeyMate. And I suggest that if you're gonna get heavy into animation 
where you're going to need these programs or you know you want to use these programs or make little movies with uh, Des Studio that uh, I suggest to get two monitors and what I do is I put um, the actor the scene in one window and then I use the other window for all the different tools and that just gives me uh, tons of room to see both keymate and graphmate together so let me show you a few things uh, interesting things about graphmate and here I'll go to where on his head and I'm gonna stick on the bend axis here and let's zoom in on his head a little bit. So this line, his head curves around and then goes down. So let's say I didn't, I want his head to come up higher in the beginning. So I might grab this axis and pull it down. And I can look at that if I put the the frame right on it I can see I can pull his head down just like that so let's say I like this is where it is and I need the rest of this to smooth into this frame so I'm going to delete all these other keyframes and then it just arcs right down and if I wanted to I could change how the line reacts so right now uh, it's on uh, TV, TCB. I could change it to linear. And if you look, this line got straighter. So, or I could change it to constant, which turns this into a, a box cut type of thing. But most of the time you're gonna use TCB and that's gonna give you this nice curve with this one keyframe. So just like that, just by moving these dots around, you can screw with the curve of how that head moves up and down. Now I can go to twist, and this has to do with the head turning side to side. So I could take this and just like that, turn this head side to side without using the slider. Now I could use the slider, yeah, okay. Now it created another keyframe in there because I wasn't directly on the frame with this other one. So now I have another keyframe I can mess with and screw with this line, make it look nice and smooth and arcing. Maybe this is a little too tight here and I can make this arc a little bit better there. But that's... Uh, the basics of how to use uh, GraphMate though. And it, re it really makes it nice to look at each curve individually and kind of see where you uh, might have some jerkiness. So let's uh, go on his neck. Now if you see right here, look at how quickly he turns his head there. Turns that neck there. Now maybe I don't want it that steep that quick of a turn so I highlighted all those and now we have a more gradual turn but it's very straight and that's because I have keyframes on either side so if I wanted to round this out I would select those and get rid of them and then select that and now we have a more natural curve through there but it's all you know dependent on how you like to use it uh, what you need what your animation needs are but that's a look at uh, how graphmate works so I've gone over a little bit uh, with graphmate and now I'll go into keymate a little bit so at the bottom here we have keymate and keymate works uh, pretty much the same as the animation palette does in poser and GraphMate works uh, similarly to the Graph in Poser. Uh, but in Poser, I, I don't like, I hate the way the Graph works in Poser. I hate using it in Poser. Um, in Daz Studio, it's a little bit better. I Like I said, I don't like the way uh, you switch between 
axis, but um, you can, using Keymate, you, if you click on one of the axis in Keymate, it automatically can show up in GraphMate. So that can make it handy to use both Keymate and GraphMate. But let me go over some of the basic tools in here. You basically have the whole skeleton, and then you can open up each one and uh, each one of their axes. So here we're, at, we're on the head. So we have bend, twist, side. And at the top here, we can go all the way to the end. We can go to the next frame, the previous frame, um, the next key frame. We can play the animation. And of course we have a frame count there, copy and paste, your delete button, uh, set key, and then you have your um, different uh, options, object or node, and your different curves. And that's, uh, Keymate can be handy for uh, cleaning up animations for um, seeing uh, where your issues are, especially when it comes to curves and things like that. So um, now we're on the, his neck and we have these three axes here, bend, twist, and side. And each one of these squares, they represent a keyframe. So right now I'm on his side one. And if you look at the top, we have GraphMate going on up here. But if I take, let's say, a section of these two keyframes and I want to get rid of them, you'll actually see them be deleted in the GraphMate too. So let's, uh, those are highlighted. I'll hit X and you saw right there they disappeared. So you can, uh, KeyMate is just another way to look at all the different keyframes and uh, delete them or move them or... Uh, I could take this frame right there, this keyframe right there, I could copy it, and then I could move down to this frame, and I could paste it. So just like that, I have that same keyframe here and here, or I could take this keyframe, select it, and then move it. I should be able to move it. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, uh, it, it just it depends on how you like to work. Like I said, I'm uh, I like to use the graph GraphMate more than I use KeyMate. Uh, KeyMate is more of a backup for selecting things and things like that for me. But most of the time, I'm working within GraphMate um, or how to fix them easily in curves. But overall, I think uh, they're both great plugins and you pretty much have to have them if you want to do um, some really complex animation work inside Daz Studio. But it, it pretty much makes Daz Studio totally comparable to Poser. Uh, a lot of people use Poser. It's a great tool. Um, I personally prefer Daz Studio over Poser even though I can use Poser pretty proficiently uh, it's just the tool sets that I'm getting in Daz Studio just seem to be easier um, easier to understand easier to work with but I just wanted to bring uh, both these plugins to you uh, give you a quick look at them and uh, let you know that if you find them on sale or anything like that uh, you should definitely pick them up because it pretty much turns Daz Studio into one of the best animation programs out there. All right, so have a good one, everyone.